Hello, this is Woggle. Hello, Woggle. Woggle is my uh, AI that I'm working on um, that runs off uh, the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's in a nice little case with its own LCD screen. And the idea behind it was um, it was it was um, a way of bringing together all my all my random projects. So all the chatbot um, goings on from last year, as well as the Minecraft and also, you, you know, um, the email checkers and Google and that, that sort of thing. But I'll, I'll, I'll give you a brief tour of of Woggle. Um, so without further ado, let's um, let's fire him up. Uh, here we are. Um, I really like the fact that Woggle's really small uh, and uh, I love the fact that the Raspberry Pi can run off a battery. So once we get a proper housing for him, we can build the battery into the housing to make him properly portable. But um, yeah, Woggle boots um, straight out the box if he has a box. Uh, that's another thing on my list to do. But uh, if we plug a keyboard into him, um, as you can see there, we have access to... Um, Woggle boots up straight away and we have access to the chat. Now, because we're offline, the chat is the only thing we have available. But it's still be, it can still be quite fun. So we can get chatting. Uh, for example, hello, hi, let, how are you? Uh, I'm still well, thank you. Yeah, he is the more you chat with him, um, the better he gets because um, he learns from every conversation. So, for example, when he starts off on his um, with a blank database, <clears throat> all he knows is hello. So that's all Woggle will say. So you say hi back. So he knows that hi is associated with hello. So when you start asking questions, it'll ask those questions back uh, and log your answer against that, that against that question, or rather the key words within that last statement. Um, so the more you chat to it, the better Woggle gets. Uh, and I've been chatting with him for a f quite a number of hours now and I can get into some interesting conversations. Don't ask him how to make the perfect cup of tea. Uh, in my opinion, it's boiling water before milk, but Woggle thinks otherwise and it, it, it's quite funny. But uh, yeah, that's the chat. Uh, so I've, I've still got a lot of work to do with that, but uh, let's get Woggle um, online now, shall we? OK, so Woggle is now online. Um, he's on my home network via this cable. Would be nice to get it wireless uh, as well as have a wireless keyboard to keep it nice and compact. But, you know, they're, they're minor points in the grand scheme of things, so it doesn't really matter for, for this video. But, yeah, we boot Woggle, Woggle up again. Um, we still have access to the chat, as we can see there. So, hello, how are you? I'm not too good today. Ah, fancy playing a game? Well, maybe later. But uh, now he's uh, he can see the internet, we can start asking him questions and it makes him more useful. Um, so if we prefix our, qu our queries with the word question, he, Woggle knows to bypass the chat facility and go off to the various search engines to find the answer. For example, what is the weather forecast for Salisbury? As Brits are obsessed by the weather, and you've probably seen me ask that question many times in my videos, but yeah, Woggle's going to go off, um, query various search engines, and bring and bring back the result. And if you're interested, it's going to still going to be rainy as it is now. <clears throat> he can also check your emails. Um, but the nice thing is, um, if anyone else on my home network um, goes into starts a Minecraft session on another Raspberry Pi, Woggle will follow you in. And if you look at my previous videos, you can see how you interact with Woggle within the Minecraft world itself. Uh, and also, there's some nice email uh, not notifications as well. Various blocks can change colour um, <clears throat> depending on whether you get new emails into your inbox that it's monitoring. So already at this early stage, Woggle is becoming you know quite a useful piece of kit. But I just like the fact that he's really really small, um, and I hopefully can get him in a nice neat package, um, ready to you know 
um, play around with him. Uh, I'll make the code available once I've polished it up um, so other people can enjoy Woggle or maybe add to Woggle. I've you know, got no problem with people tinkering around. Uh, I'm not an expert. Uh, people have been commenting. Most of them really good. There's one or two that aren't happy, but that's the internet in general, really. But I'm having fun and I hope that you're enjoying this as well. But um, thanks for watching and hopefully... Woggle and I will see you soon. Bye.